Welcome everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the godfather of shock rock and the garage rock pioneer. Uh, his career has spanned over 52 years and he has released a total of 28 studio albums. Yes, we're going to be talking about Alice Cooper and his brand new album, Detroit Stories. This is a deluxe edition box set, which I'll do a full unboxing of for you guys. But before we go any further, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music. Just like this, taking a look at the brand new Alice Cooper album, Detroit Stories. And so, the Alice Cooper band goes back a long way to 1964 when they first formed for a high school talent show. And then of course, five years later, they're signed to Frank Zappa's label and released their debut album, Pretties For You, in 1969. Uh, they didn't have uh, or have their first commercial um, success until 1971 with the hit I'm 18. And they sort of reached their commercial peak or zenith in 1973 with their classic album Billion Dollar Babies. Just fantastic release from the 70s. Um, and they released a total of seven albums as a band under the Alice Cooper name. And in 1975, Alice Cooper began his solo career, kicking things off with Welcome to My Nightmare, which is another classic. And he's continued to reinvent himself with each new release, um, having made albums in so many different genres and style, a hard rock, new wave, heavy metal, hair metal, um, alternative rock, new metal, garage rock. He's even done a concept album. And then in 2015, uh, he formed a super group called the Hollywood Vampires and released two albums with uh, Johnny Depp and Joe Perry of Aerosmith. This first album here was predominantly a covers album, whereas the second one, Rise, was actually predominantly um, originals with only a few covers on here. And so you'd think at 73 years old that Alice would be slowing down, but he's actually not. He is just revving things up and continuing to go, which of course brings us to what we want to talk about, Detroit Stories, this phenomenal new album in my opinion. Um, features 15 tracks and has 50 minutes of music on it. There are three cover songs and 12 originals, so you have plenty of new original Alice Cooper on here. Now, four of the tracks come from uh, this, the Breadcrumbs EP, which actually came out in 2019. It was a record uh, record store day exclusive on vinyl this is actually a Japanese import edition which I have a separate review for and we'll put in the uh, comments or the description section below um, so four tracks do come from that but uh, like I said you still got uh, 15 tracks on here so um, no worries there with getting plenty of new Alice and then um, it also features the COVID-19 single, Don't Give Up, which has been retitled here, Hanging On By A Thread. Um, this album here, as the title states, Detroit Stories is a tribute to Detroit. And the cool thing is it's written and recorded in Detroit and uses predominantly Detroit musicians. So the lineup features these guys, um, Johnny B. Baden Badenjik, if I'm saying that right, and I apologize if I'm not, uh, from the Detroit Wheels, Wayne Kramer of the MC5 on guitars, Mark Farner on guitar from Grand Funk Railroad, uh, Paul Randolph on bass, uh, he's a Detroit musician and producer, uh, Mick Collins backing vocals from the Dirt Bombs, Sister Sledge on background vocals, and the really cool part of all of this is the reunited Alice Cooper band performs on here. Um, and so for this thing here, it just really sounds as though they're having a good time on this release. For me, it translates through on every song here. It's uh, just definitely loud, fast, garage rock style that he pioneered himself in. But like his career, the album itself really covers a lot of different styles on here. We've got the hard rock and the garage rock, but there's some rockabilly. There's clearly some punk. There's some metal. Uh, interestingly, there's blues on here, and there's some soul and R&B tinges mixed in, and then there's also some pop on this. 
And so it makes for a really interesting uh, listen going sort of ups and downs through peaks and valleys and things like that on here. And I want to talk about a few of the tracks. As I mentioned, it's 50 minutes worth of music. Track number one, Rock and Roll, which is a, one of the hard rock tunes, is actually a Velvet Underground uh, track from Loaded. Uh, this one here is a, done in a very 70s, classic sounding Alice Cooper style. Track number four, Social Debris. It was the first single off the album. It's another hard rock tune. This is one that's done with the original Alice Cooper band. Uh, track number seven, Detroit City. And it's titled 2021. Uh, there is a version titled 2020 on the breadcrumbs. But the track actually comes off of Eyes of Alice Cooper, which uh, came out originally in 2003. And of course, it does a uh, shout out to all things Detroit, which is very fitting that they would re-record that here. Track eight called Drunk and in Love is a blues song. Um, it's a slow burning style of blues. And I found it interesting because it takes the place or what I think takes the place of his traditional ballad that he always has on every album here. So there's no ballads other than this blues song, something a little different. Track eight, Independence Dave. Um, it's a blues rocker, but it's got almost a rap style vocal. Don't let that scare you. It's done really well here, and it's just really fun and energetic, and I almost uh, love this song best on the album. Track 10, I Hate You. It's a very, very punk style song. Uh, very fun. It's got multiple lead vocalists on it. Uh, this is another one that's recorded by the Alice Cooper Band, and each member takes lead vocals on it. So another cool first here. Track 12, Sister Anne, a uh, punk style song. This is a cover of the MC5 classic. Um, it just rocks really hard uh, and, and is a great tribute, I think, to the original MC5 here. And then track 13, uh, Hanging On By A Thread. This is that uh, song that was first done during the lockdown and pandemic. Uh, this is a, what I would call more of the metal style song. Um, but this one here now has been sort of updated as a perspective uh, or through the perspective of suicide. And it actually adds a guitar solo to it. And I think it updates a few other things on here as well. Um, so you're not getting just the straight version. So uh, there's some cool updates for the stuff that's already been released on here, um, but totally worth it in my opinion. So let's take a look. This is the box set here comes in a nice, it's a um, lift top box set, which I'll show you. Nothing on the back, there was a cover on here showing you all the goodies, and I can show you that at the end because it's inside. But the top of this thing just lifts right off like this, and we'll take that off, and right on top, we see the T-shirt, and I'll unfold that in just a minute. And I'd already pulled it out, but the CD, was inside here like this. So you do get a CD, not in one of those um, sleeves, but you actually get the real CD and holder here. And I'm gonna go through that a little bit more. Um, you get uh, a face mask, which is cool. It says Detroit Stories on it. Pop it on for you guys. So it does work very well. I was actually thinking I may wear this one. Uh, you get some cool stickers in this. There you go. Another cool thing that's really great, you get a DVD of his um, Paranormal Evening Show, which he put out as a live album, but there was no DVD with it. So this thing here's got 18 tracks on it. Uh, really great and just cool to also get it in the full uh, packaging Blu-ray style as opposed to, there is another version of this without the deluxe edition box set but it comes in a diggy pack and you don't get any of that uh, extra stuff. Um, this was the um, thing that was on the back side that sort of shows you all the stuff. I peeled mine off and put it inside. And then the other cool thing that you get here is um, this flashlight, if you will, hard to describe, but um, when you turn on the light, and I guess it's upside down there, if you can see, it's the, um, <laughs> try and get it for you guys, they're a little hard doing it backwards, there you go. You can see the eyes of Alice Cooper, just like the front cover of this, which has the eyes in the sky. So kind of a cool little thing like that that comes with this um, that you can check out 
on this. And I'll show you the shirt now. So here's the full shirt itself. There you go, on a Detroit car, sitting there holding his uh, shirt opening and saying that, but cool shirt. All the shirts, I didn't see any selection of size for these. I think they all just came in um, uh, extra large size. I didn't see anywhere that you could actually choose from. But now let's take a quick look at the actual album. There's the front cover of it and the spine and then the back side with all the track listing. And this is the only shot of Alice Cooper, and it's a half shot at that, so you kind of get chipped there, but cool picture nonetheless. And when we open it here, this is what we get. One of his eyes on there. The booklet's on this side here, so we'll pull that out. And uh, picture there of Detroit City. And then it's just lyrics all throughout here, so I won't spend a long time going through all of these, but you can see it covers all of it, and it's got all the musicians at the end, so you know who's playing on it, who wrote what, and so forth. And then that's the back side of the booklet. So unfortunately, not a lot in the way of the booklet, meaning there could be more in here in terms of photos of him and photos of the guys that he recorded with. I'm kind of surprised they didn't have a lot of group shots and stuff like that uh, in here, but uh, so be it. This deluxe edition with all of the, um, the great merch and everything that comes with it. I got it for $47 on Amazon. I felt it was totally worth it for all that extra stuff. I mean, you are getting the CD and the DVD. You know, if you think the CD is gonna be maybe 12 bucks and the DVD would have been about 20 bucks, that's 32 bucks right there. Another $15 for the box and the shirt and everything else. And I think it's a real steal. So I highly recommend this. Um, overall, as far as the album is concerned, I really like the concept idea behind it. Um, I think it's cool to see Alice Cooper revisiting his roots in the garage rock style. Um, and what I also think is just really amazing to get the original Alice Cooper band reuniting on this. I've wanted that for a long time. So that for me is you know top notch. Um, you know, plus you're getting all these other great Detroit musicians guesting on here. And it's just fun and entertaining. Um, it's a great listen, in my opinion. It's one of, uh, really, I think it's one of the best Alice Cooper albums that he's made, certainly in a, in a number of years. I, I really liked his last studio album, but this one here, I think, is just top notch. So I highly recommend it if you're an Alice Cooper fan, and if you're a fan of his from the 70s, I think you're going to enjoy what he's doing on this. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, and I hope everyone has a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.